Um, you know, I'm going to respond to this uh, page because this page to me um, is... Uh, First, let me talk about the website before I begin responding to this page. Uh, this website allows you to edit somebody else's uh, post, which I didn't even know. I never heard of a website like this in my life. And uh, also, uh, it not only allows you to do that, it's just where uh, I accidentally deleted somebody else's. And, it, you know, because, like, his post was mixed in with this post, sort of. Because I was using my um, bookmark page slash history, and I'm like, I was wrapped around between two pages, and uh, accidentally they deleted Sean's page, or I, I think it was his page or parts of it, getting it mixed up with this particular person's page that made this uh, post of me, and uh, it was just hectic. In fact, uh, before I begin, let me say further that this Encyclopedia Dramatica was found by a woman, but she discontinued it origi originally after uh, someone, after she found all these uh, people on the internet slash trolls. And then when she discontinued it, uh, someone hacked into the website where they made it into production. And this is the Encyclopedia Dr Dramatica. And this video is entitled Piss 4400 slash Encyclopedia Dramatica. I'm going to address the lies and the truth regarding myself and myself only. Piss 4400 is a mini gorgeous George. He acts like a tough troll. But in real life, meaning IRL, he is morbidly obese, but hurt unfunny and a hypocrite just like Gigi is and um, let's stop at that uh, let me first correct one thing on this first sentence here which I'm gonna highlight in terms of unfunniness I never claimed that I was funny in any of my reviews of the gorgeous George uh, project which is my project speaking for piss 4400 that is I never said that I was funny or claimed to be or tried to be so in a minute um, well after this review you're gonna find out that this is more like a Matt Wilson situation so to speak at first I thought it was Sean Brennan that did this but no it wasn't him and I accidentally had his uh, post mixed up with mine by mistake and uh, he uh, you know, I mean, it was just a, like I ended up messing with this page and, and when I was trying to mess with this. And I find too that if you edit someone's page, even even if they talk shit about you that isn't true, you get banned. And there is no way to contact nobody on this site regarding stuff that isn't true. Now I can handle things that are true. But it, it, as far as stuff that isn't true, um, you know, it's just, I mean, it's like telling somebody that, hey, uh, this guy is a rapist. Beware of your, beware with your children around and all this other shit. That's what it's just like to me, in one sense. Then it depends on the scenario. Uh, it's person has over here origins, which, let's just talk about this, uh. Piss 4400, Power Word Jeremy Warren, was a YouTube channel where he would review thrift stores, finds in Maple Shade, New Jersey. However, let me stop that sentence. However, that's not all that I do in the Piss 4400 channel. I did reviews on other things as well. I didn't just stop that Goodwill and Maple Shade. And I didn't just uh, do reviews on thrift shops. Uh, that wasn't what my channel was about. 
What if this person really gives a shit or not? I don't really care. He had mentioned several incidences where he would fight with the employees who worked there and got kicked out. All right, on the correct. Another correction here is I never got into fights with no employees. What really happened was I made videos about issues regarding the store and stuff and the people got angry and butthurt because I told the truth and they was doing everything they can to try to get back at me and one day they uh, came up with a lie based on something that I was playing with and made it look like that I was threatening people and say that I was going to kill them and everybody in the store which was not even true so that's how I got kicked out from Goodwill and I didn't really do nothing to those people they were angry because I did videos about them on YouTube so that's correction number two and correction number one is the unfunny part I never said I was funny or tried to be and number two is the Goodwill part According to him, at this time, he was being trolled over said videos. Um, I don't, what kind of sentence is that? Being trolled over said videos. I was being trolled on other projects that I had done that were based on non-thrift shop related things. So that is another correction on this page probably because he films videos like a spastic with trimmers and like any other lo-fi tard edits his work in Windows Movie Maker simply because I don't know any other software simple as that the best work I did actually is uh, the review of Gorgeous George regarding Leighton Harmon and uh, until I learn Adobe Premiere I'm you know I'm gonna try to I have to use what I can use right now so if you like to whoever it is wants to boycott me for using Windows Movie Maker so be it I do agree though however that Windows Movie Maker is a piece of shit but some things, you know, it's out of your control right now until another day, I guess. In real life, he lives with his mom and sucks from the government's tit. Now, third correction, or actually, I made one, two, this three, this is correction number four, is how would you know my finances and how would you know who who do I live with I could live I live with my mom yes but I could live with other people too as well and the fact that uh, the expectation of this person thinking that I suck under the government's tit and let me further say this even if people get fixed incomes or not it's really nobody's business I mean it's really a personal thing and you know whatever so it's not even really nobody's business and I will not get into my income situation or nothing because it's really somebody it's really nobody's business as you may guess already he has no friends and is a super virgin uh yeah I never claimed correction number five I never claimed that I had any friends on the internet I never claimed that and uh, what's the big deal in being a virgin anyway whether if I'm a virgin or not what's the big deal you see this I mean the problem with this frame of society it's a big deal if you're a virgin and all this other crap I don't really give two shits who's a virgin who's not I don't care it doesn't matter to me this is gonna be between a Chris Chan situation and a Matt Wilson situation but I would say more of a Chris Chan situation his gorgeous George encounter around the time Jeremy started to get trolled hardcore which that part wasn't a lie because I had my face my real face and my real first and last name impersonated by other people 
on YouTube. So that part is the only part that is not a lie. So that's that that is uh, no correction there. Finishing the sentence here, he started to watch Gorgeous George videos and identified with what he went through against those nasty goons. Now, first off, correction number six, let me say, how many corrections again? One, let's see, two, that's the goodwill, three, four, five, I think this is six. Um, correction number six, uh, I don't even, I didn't know who the fuck goons were. I mean, the way this, uh, sentence portrays, it says nasty goons. I, I didn't even know anything about the goons or nothing. I didn't know nothing from a cake of soap. I was watching a man in Richmond, Virginia, and, 90, and I believed him because, you know, I thought he was a sincere person, but no, it wasn't the case. So that's correction number six. He made a video against one calling them a fag, faggot, and uh, that part is true. But here's the twist: when I made a video responding to someone that Gorgeous George talked about in my first video. I didn't even know who Sean Brennan was from a cake of soap. I was listening to a guy named Gorgeous George. And you would think that the things he say would be true 99%. Because people who would make videos like George does, they go through shit 99.9% .9 and it'll always be accurate. But in George's case, it was very unusually not true. So... And you're reading the next sentence. Even though Piss4400 was defending GG, which I did, I defended him because uh, I liked the videos he did regarding, uh, you know, somewhat his uh, rants or defending himself from the people that were trolling him because I thought it was all true, but I found out it was nothing but a con artist slash lie. GG. See, despite the pen, GG, he still got butt hurt and false flagged Jeremy's videos, which that's true. Gorgeous George, when I was defending him, he false flagged my video, and then when I started questioning his private investigation services, because I wanted to look for some, because I had some people that were messing with me, uh, I didn't get no response from George whatsoever, and then when I questioned him about it he got mad and false start false flagging my videos so that part is true uh let's see reading here uh let's see well, i was like really left off and shit uh, let's see here since he had tarred rage he bogged to George. Wait a minute. Since he had taught rage, he bogged to George, hoping he'll stop his rage gene, which was ineffective. Which, this was what I did. I tried convincing George that the videos that I did was nothing more but free speech. So, this part is actually true. I did bogged about it, but I bogged about it for a good reason. I bogged about it because George just unusually false flags videos for no reason, and he just completely and utterly is just, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's not like I'm speaking lies or anything. So I was trying to reason with the guy and hope that, you know, he wasn't what other people were telling me that he was. Now let's get to the part where, um, I'm not finished yet, since he, wait a minute, since he bogged and had tarred rage and he bogged to George hoping that he'll stop his raging, which was ineffective, this of course made him mad 
and now Gigi is his worst enemy. And now is Gigi's worst enemy. Uh, yes, I'm one of I'm under Gorgeous George's hit list, and that's what it boils down to. Boy, I hope uh, this is gonna probably take 30 minutes. So I'm gonna read over this. Uh, it says piss for you from Hunter Epic Troll Endurance. After getting his channel taken down by George, he makes videos on uh, another channel with non-stop GG videos. No more different than anyone else, like Sean and them. What makes these videos lousy is the fact that he acts like he has thousands of subscribers. I never said that I had thousands of subscribers, or act like I had thousands of subscribers. So that's correction number seven. And, uh, and is popular when he has then ten, when this was a mistype right here what he this person was trying to say when I have less than 10 subscribers which I don't really give two shits about that actually so that's your typo right there uh, you forgot to put uh, less and you made your sentence where it's popular when he has than 10 subscribers when you meant to say less than 10 subscribers then um, read the next sentence here his videos are frequently third and constantly repeats points he just mentioned moments before he also brings up random points in his life like anyone cares oh yeah like the points I make about uh, you know getting people to understand that if you find a set if you find a sentence that isn't spelt right uh, it's obviously because I cannot read and I'm getting people to understand not so much they feel sorry for me but you know when I contact people by email you know just I make them aware of that so they don't run into uh, shit like what the fuck is this you know for instance but I don't really give a shit if anyone or no one don't care actually that doesn't matter to me he also used a mic that sounds like it was from a, clar a clearance section at the 99 cent store I didn't even know they had a 99 cent store wow thank you for telling me I may look that up and see if there's one in my area recently he does live streams which is hilarious as he has no viewers I don't care about that. I'd done live streams um, just to save the effort of taking a video and upload it from my computer and onto YouTube. So I could care less whether someone comes or not, actually. It's like that homeless guy who just down some crown ro royal and starts having and coherent rambling to himself I don't know what that word says but I know I'm gonna get some dark darts thrown at me regarding that shit right there just to hammer it home as to how sucky piss 4400 is at being tr a troll when George was this this separately dig up dirt on him someone sent him a picture of some hipster and claimed that was Jeremy GG being so excited with said information I mean info jumped up and down causing a two point no causing 5.2 earthquake here is a video he made about it mm-hmm Mm -hmm. now finishing myself how much oh that's about it okay uh, okay okay since piss is about as effective at the lows as Carlos M Michi I don't even know who the fuck that is he denied that that was him and even made a video showing a part of him 
looks like Jeremy, looks like the guy at the Oral G that breaks out of a game Monopoly. He also, he also rage quit his YouTube channel constantly. Now I'm going to do correction number, I think it's seven or eight. Correction here. Um, I didn't rage quit my YouTube channel. I quit several of my YouTube channels, Piss4400, because naively, I was posting videos of George, as turns his face and shit, and he would false flag my videos when all his videos about himself was on his channel and would affect my main account. And so, I would quit my videos because YouTube had a system where it, if your videos get flagged, you would end up not doing videos that were over 15 minutes. And that affected other things I do on Piss4400, not just Gorgeous George, but other things. That's why I would quit and reopen Piss4400. Here. either because they didn't get enough viewers or dislikes and that's correction number eight um, I, that's not the reason why I quit my channel or channels so that's a lie right there uh, never mind he has a new account with the original name Sarah Metz farts way too much like GG Piss Boy for 100 has troll toilet humor. Okay. That's one thing that you said, right? That I have one of my Piss 4400 accounts. But it is just based on Gorgeous George because if I put it on my main channel, which is Piss 4400, then he'll flag my videos, meaning that he'll take over everything else that I do. So that's a sad my correction right there. Um, now we're going to the stockings. And let me just say that before I begin, um, you know, whatever. Um, since Piss4400 is a lonely, well, beast, he constantly does shit to get uh, their attention. Some part of that is true, um, but it's not in a way that you're projecting or other people are thinking. He usually does it in a form of videos where he asks for advice, and then when he does get said advice, tell, tell them he does how they uh, how they are wrong in a 10 hour response <laughs> uh, correction number 9 no, I never did a video that was 10 hours I don't think I could survive 10 hours of doing a video when he doesn't get a response he rages mm, not really the, the rages that I did recently are actually purposely and uh I'm actually going to talk to somebody regarding that, um, you know, and because um, he actually, you know, reached out and uh, was giving me suggestions and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, some of that was purposely, and some of that was sort of an act to figure a problem that I had regarding emails of people, which is something I will discuss when I uh, get active on my Piss 4400 channel, my main campus. So, but, uh, yeah, there's some parts that sound my true, but not entirely this here. So let me finish. Let me read the sentence over. When he doesn't get a response, he rages like a three-year-old man. Think whatever you want. As you can see, the screen caps, he has the spelling grammar of a lap, of a lap reject. A lab reject baboon. Really? I already had told people before that I cannot spell in the things that I said. And it's just like when a person cannot walk, 
You just have to live with it. And I'm living with this shit as far as that for now. So if you want to make fun of it, go right ahead. But you'll be the one laughing by yourself. Even if you're laughing at this video, whoever this is. This guy is a faggot troll. Wow, I'm a faggot. Cool. I wonder how come... Okay, so if I'm a faggot, then how come I'm so addicted with this girl, Danielle? Contradiction. This guy is a faggot troll who does a great job at making GG rage. <laughs> That's the only thing you got right in this whole entire thing. That I do a good job making George rage. Of course, since his videos are popular, I never looked at my videos as popular. I looked at my videos as getting the same kind of folks like Captain Corpulence, Blast from the Past, um other of the same people I've seen before, so to speak. Jeremy is all over him. Wait a minute. I may have to read the sentence over. It says here, this guy is a faggot troll who... Oh, I see. He's talking about Sean. He ain't talking about me. It says, uh, this guy is a faggot troll who does a great job at making George rage. Of course, since his videos are popular, Jeremy is all over him like a training at Glory Hole. So when I read this sentence the first time, I thought it was referring to me. But this sentence right here actually refers to Sean. This is the person that's talking about Sean. Now this guy calls Sean a faggot troll, which... I don't think we, I don't care, and, and Sean doesn't care. 90% of the videos Piss Forefunner makes is constantly asking him for advice and stupid questions, no matter how many times he answers him. Um, let's backtrack that. Uh, what do you mean by stupid questions? You see, if I don't know something, right, what do you do? You go and find out. And part of finding out is either ask it, look it up yourself. And that's what I do. And that's what anybody with a brain would do. So that answers your stupid questions allegation. Um, what is your second allegation here? No matter how many times he answers him, I must admit that it looks like that I contact Sean Brennan every day the way he posted. But, it's not every day. It's like, what was it, about a few more times, and then a little bit more recently. And that was just admiring the um, editing and um, all that other shit. So, let me finish off the sentence. No matter how many times he answers him, it never seems to be enough. That's one of the biggest problems with the emailing thing. It's like, whenever I come to people for stuff, they get the feel that I just don't have enough, and they get annoyed. This is something I'm actually going to discuss later on, so we'll just X that out for now. Piss didn't wait, and, oh, okay. Uh, Alright. I left off here. It never seems to be enough. It's like America's plans for world domination. Wow. I didn't know that America's plans for world domination was pertaining to me. I better call the White House. In a YouTube. What? In a YouTube? What about in YouTube? As opposed to in a YouTube. Typo. In a YouTube, I'm going to read it as, he asked Sean a stupid question about trumpet. No, I was asking a qu this is correction number, what is it? I think it's 10, or 9. Never asked a question stupid regarding a trumpet. I asked a question, the song that George plays, regarding the introduction that he does in his early 90s videos. And it was, uh, the, the, the trumpet song was called the uh, 2001 
something. That's the name of the song. It's not made in 2001, but it's made like in the 60s or 70s or some shit. So, you know, this person projects and make it look like a stupid question. And I'm beginning to realize how trolls work in a much deeper matter after doing this, uh, looking at this encyclopedia dramatica. Piss didn't wait an hour before calling Sean a cock-sucking son of a bitch. Now, that is a lie. I never called Sean a cock-sucking son of a bitch. Here's what I did say to him, though. Because Danny sent me a message making it look like that Sean was making fun of me, and I and me being as naive as I was, I didn't look and ask Sean of any of this stuff. I just jumped into conclusion. So here's what I said. Hey, Sean, you're full of shit. That's what I said. There's no cock-sucking son of a bitch in this uh, thing. And then uh, and I changed that comment and end up putting um, this up here. If we can find it. I might have clicked something else, but who cares. I, well, anyway, I can't find it, but I said at one point that, um, let me see, clicking here again, I said this, I said, okay, fuck this, you all can't even answer a simple question, <laughs> fuck all you folks, <laughs> oh man, the stuff I gotta do just to study a problem that I had for a long time. Which I don't have nothing against Sean, actually. But it was in a matter of, well, I have to explain all this stuff later. It's too complex. And people, whether people understand it or not, so be it. Stupid question by a trumpet. Pissed it and wait for an hour for calling Sean a cocksucking son of a bitch who should die in a tire fire. <laughs> Did not say anything about no tire fire. But that's fine. For a tanton inadequate, or what? I can't read that word, so I know I'm gonna get some darts thrown at me about that. Beachwell Jeremy's self-importance meter is off the charts, and uh, here is the Danny woman. Uh, let's read it here. Daddy has a vagina. No shit, because she's a female. And since it's the closest to Jeremy, he has got to even smell pussy. Okay, that's your call. And you're safe. Stalks her. It started on Facebook page, where he incidentally asked her a question, do you rape dead dogs? Which the great pickup line failed. Which I didn't really mean it as a pickup line. I meant it was I meant just get her to respond and do those crazy weird shits that she was doing. Cause Daddy's kind of strange as, as far as communication and Facebook and other things. Um, so I wasn't even trying to be funny there. So that is your thinking and your opinion. He constantly messaged her on Facebook and YouTube that was when he got friend zero which I already had friend zero way before that I'm sorry and not so long ago after that block <laughs> I love that what about not so long ago after the fact that he was blocked or some shit like some of your sentences a couple of your sentences don't make any freaking sense this encouraged Piss to try false flagging Danny's channel through privacy complaint strikes, which Jeremy life Jeremy's life failed. Uh, let me explain that scenario. I just all I think I did was flag her video just to get her to just respond to me. I didn't mean it to try to get her videos taken down nor meant it to try to hurt her or nothing as far as that um so but i know a lot of people are not going to look or believe me and look at this in the way i'm seeing it and that's fine 
you can think what you want. But uh, I did that to get Daddy's attention because me and her, we was having a little back and forth. And uh, that's how it went down. I had somewhat fun with her, but at the same time was confused. So, uh, just correction number 10 or 11. I can't keep track. It's like 35 freaking minutes here. Alright. This clever name. Okay. Here, here's what this character is talking about. Sarah Metz farts too much. My one of my other YouTube channels. This cleverly named channel is Piss Forty Four Hundred's new in whatever. I can get some darts because I can't read that. After bleeding his channel name's sake, <laughs> like the previous channel, he makes a videos, he makes videos, he involves and users some some sort of cheap capturing software which is so maybe somewhat cheap but I downloaded it for free. He made a video where he discussed why his channel won't have comments or ratings which that's true. Uh, I want to have my videos not flagged by George. Uh, only reason why I was branding a troll was because the very things I'm doing right now on this channel, which says Sarah Metz farts way too much. And uh, let me state this clearly, if one of my videos or so happens to get flagged by George, then automatically I would know that this idea of disabling comments and ratings did not work out as well. So I thought I'd let y'all know that. And I will allow comments or ratings again, you know, if that if this plan doesn't work. Let's see here. He claims it's to prevent his videos from being flagged by George, and that's true. I just said that, which makes no sense. You think you keep them to make George rage? <laughs> uh, he well, I'm taking the risk knowing that maybe it's a stupid idea of doing it. But at least I'm going to try something different other than continue making the same mistakes over and over again. So that's my response to that sentence. You can see that many of his anti lulls videos below. And you need a content to plug in. I don't really care that much about this. But yeah, um, this... Uh, Encyclopedia Dramatica about myself. But let me say this picture here. Let me talk about this picture here because this is funny. This picture is not even myself at all. This is a picture that I dug up from Google search and uh, made it, did a video about it the other day, made it look like this is my real self, but it's not. I mean. <laughs> I did a pretty good job making this person think, or making some people think that this was myself. <laughs> Please. If, if I had a stomach that big, I don't think I could fit um, shirts as well. And, and also, I don't think I would be able to do 90 minute walks from where I live. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. So, I thought I'd let you know that, that this picture is fake, but you can think what you want. <laughs> it's funny, though, you know. I, I, I was, That's the only thing that made me kind of laugh is this picture right here. Alright, so that's it. Uh, I spent a great 38 minutes, about 40 minutes time frame. And, um, you know, thank you for watching. And uh, I just want the, the truth to be out there as far as the Encyclopedia Dramatica people and you know folks who are going to probably do some shot some stuff on me after this video but I will continue to do the same thing and this is the only response that you're going to get out of me regarding this Encyclopedia Dramatica page now there are other things I'm going to respond to but it won't be in regards to this page but it'll be on my main campus which is Piss4400 channel so thank you for watching and see y'all later goodbye now and this video will have comments and ratings so i'm willing so you know i'm I, uh, i'm not trying to dodge constructive criticism or even unconstructive criticism all right goodbye